Good evening. I spoke with the families who are now mourning the loss of their loved ones. One of them is a 20 year old man who was driving back from the mall with a friend. Another is a 33 year old father of four who had just completed an internship and a few weeks ago was hired at the Daily Center. Now both families share with me their devastating pain. The mother of 20 year old Carlos Mendoza cries out in the arms of family and friends less than 24 hours after the fatal crash. He just went to the mall for some friends and that's it. He just liked to drive his cars and everything. He's a sweet kid, like he's a really good kid. According to police, Mendoza was driving his Dodge Charger when the crash happened around 8.30 Friday night on 159th Street near the I-294 Markham overpass. The Charger was driving at a high rate of speed east on 159th. Uh, for whatever reason, he swerved, went over the median into oncoming traffic sideways. Officials say the Charger also had a passenger who survived. He was partially in, in flames. And the officer was able to cut the his seatbelt and the system out of the vehicle. And another officer brought a fire extinguisher to put out the flames. Police say the Charger was T-boned by an oncoming 2019 Mitsubishi. Its driver, 33-year-old Zachary Kulak from Homewood, who also died. Zach, you know you're the best and we've got all of us. There's literally hundreds of people that are going to miss you and never forget you. Timothy Kulak now mourns the loss of his son, Zach, a father of four who recently lost his mother in May. Somebody was the ultimate family man, dad, husband, friend that anybody could, and son, that anybody could want. We need more people like Zach in the world. Police say behind the charger was a BMW. The driver of that vehicle was a nurse who was taken to Christ Hospital in stable condition. The BMW, in an attempt to avoid the crash, end up striking a re in a second vehicle and they both went over the median in a secondary crash. Police say the BMW hit a 2017 Hyundai, which was being driven by an off-duty Cook County Corrections officer. Officials say he was treated and released. I want to give condolences from um, the mayor, uh, Roger A. Powell and the city council. We want to send our prayers out to the deceased and their family. Well, police say they have no indication that drugs or alcohol were involved. They tell us that state police are doing a accident reconstruction, and they say that includes looking at things like black boxes. And for now, they say that that could take several weeks. For now, reporting live in Markham, Christine Flores, WGN News.